Time Magazine has called Rob Bell a rock star in the church world. His new book raises questions that have troubled and challenged Christianity for almost 2,000 years. How can a loving God allow suffering and also send more people to hell than heaven? Some religious leaders and hundreds of churches have labeled love wins as heresy and accused the Michigan Medica Church pastor of teaching universalism, the belief that everybody is saved from final judgment. Bell told me that love wins does not burn the bridge to evangelical orthodoxy. I think we need to recapture this good news because our world desperately needs to hear it. So. That's what I do. Your, your book is provoking lots of conversation and, and, and criticism in evangelical circles. Are you challenging the evangelical world to examine whether it's preaching a selective gospel, that only certain people get to go to heaven if they do certain things? Well, first off, what I'm trying to do in the book is take people through what the Bible actually says and then what it doesn't, doesn't say so that at least we can have some common ground on where Jesus is coming from. And for Jesus, the fundamental issue is this world right here and right now. We have all sorts of destruction. We have hells on earth. We have greed, rape, abuse, genocide, hunger, famine, poverty. And Jesus is calling people who will take action and who will trust that God is good and loving and do something about our suffering broken world right now. So well, that's, let's, let's talk about the suffering broken world, the tsunami yes. in Japan, most yes. recent example. Uh, some yes. people say, well, where was a loving God in that? Yeah, and people have struggled. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, we have struggled for thousands of years with God's power and God's compassion and love and then the exercise of that power or in the face of a tsunami, the, the lack of exercise of that power. So, so that has been a struggle to understand for thousands of years. The, 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 the important thing and the reason why I wrote the book is that whenever somebody dies, at the heart of Jesus' message was that God is a good, loving God and that we can trust that God is both just and merciful and we are not the judge of who goes where and when. A few years ago, Billy Graham said that he could not speculate on the ultimate destiny yes. of Jews and Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, and non-churchgoers, yes. non-people that you and your business want to reach out to. But he was confident that Jesus was the only way that they could go to heaven. Are you and Mr. Graham on the same page? Mr. B, yeah, I think you're referring to the August 14th, 2006 uh -huh. issue of Newsweek magazine. Yes, right. I read the same quote. And actually what, what Billy Graham is doing, and we find this in C.S. Lewis, and this is throughout the Christian tradition, is he's simply saying, you can be a convicted follower of Jesus with great convictions and passions about Jesus, and yet you can leave room and you must leave room for the wide, expansive grace of God. And this is not a new teaching or a radical teaching. Mm -hmm. Christians have always left room for this sort of thing. The first question, of course, being what about people who have never heard about Jesus? Does God send billions of people to suffer forever who, because they didn't believe in a Jesus they never heard of? And that just that is, goes against everything that Jesus said God is like. And so, yes, I'm right with Billy Graham on that. He's a, he's a good one to be with. <laughs> so do only the Hitlers or the terrorists flying the planes on 9-11 go to hell or is hell a place we put ourselves? I think your second answer fits very strongly and correctly with Jesus teaching. Anytime we reject the good, the true, the decent, any way that God expresses God's love to us, anytime we reject this, we have created a hell on earth right now in essence. And almost uh, the image that Jesus uses is of this banquet, a feast, an epic celebration. Everybody's invited and yet the very nature of love is that there's freedom. You don't have to come. You, you can reject the invitation, but you rejected it. God extended it. Rob Bell told a Nashville church last week after this interview was taped that the backlash from other churches about his bestseller has been painful. He says he wrote the book because the gospel of love seems to have been forgotten.